Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenwork, this is Crusader Kings 2, Return of the Jewish Aztecs, and I was waiting five minutes to get this recording up and running because Audio DG was acting up. <coughs> so, in order to occupy myself, I talked about Latin roots and etymology, I sang a little bit of Rocket Man, and I went and changed the uh, the election airs myself before the episode started so we don't have to deal with that this time. Anyways, where were we? This episode's getting up a bit late because, frankly, because I forgot to record all last week. So, probably gonna have like an extra episode this week, which will probably be today if this goes up on Monday. Hmm. To be honest, this guy actually isn't posing that much of a threat to me anymore. Like, if I were to go and check my laws, he's got nowhere near as much support as uh, Wheatsilin does. And he doesn't even have any more support in Ireland. This guy, however, does. He's being voted in, not even by himself, but by the, uh, the Ashkenazi down in, uh, down here. Oh, and by It's Quintly. Maybe I should have this guy killed. But, whatever. So, I seem to recall we were preparing for an invasion against uh, Denmark to retrieve Kent. Um, so, I've learned that someone named Takotal is probably gay. Is he in any factions? No. So, I don't really care. Yeah, if he was in a faction, I would blackmail him out of a faction, but he's not in any factions, so what the fuck do I care? Okay, vicious rumors have been circulating about me lately. Hmm. I see. Am I trying to kill someone? Yeah. With no luck. Can I kill this guy, though, with any luck? Better luck, but still not great. But you know what? How about I spy on him? Excellent. So! Um... Ah, uh, pain in the ass. I've already put down enough rebellions originating from Buchan. Buchan. Now, this fucking, fucking more I need to fucking deal with. I mean, I get it. You don't exactly have a great chance at converting the county. Still fucking annoying piece of shit, though. Stupid heresy. Wouldn't have to deal with heresies if I just had higher... religious... What's the term again? Moral authority. Higher moral authority. 
Also, I should probably settle the holy site at Sinai. That sounds like a good idea. Ultimately, what I think we really need just to boost up that moral authority... Holy Wars. And okay, so, Danmark, tell me about yourself. You're trying to invade Frisia. Probably will succeed. He's got... 6,600 soldiers. But he's not allied with Svithyod. Svithyod, by the way, is distant enough that they'll probably not get involved in any invasion. The same, however, cannot be said for... Uh... Malgur here at Nantes or any of these other Breton Vikings, he's got a shit ton. And it's costing him. There's a strong possibility I may need to raise mercenaries just to win this war. However, I am going to hold off on that until it seems like I may need to because I've got 7,000 soldiers just out of levies, plus 2,000 uh, retinue, which is 9,000 troops in total. That should be enough to beat the Danish in a one-on-one -on -one war, and keep in mind they are already at a war. It's a very unbalanced war, which they can probably afford to move most of their troops away from, but... Still, it ties them up. At least partially. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to declare war now. Holy War for Kent. Jesus, I am very nervous right now. Now, naturally, all my vassals, I want grouping up in Middlesex. That includes you guys. And you Irish gents as well. And I'm going to wait a little while to get a slightly larger army put together here, but not too long. Because I do kind of... 3, 2, 4, 1. I kind of do need to uh, start this invasion promptly, so... 3,800... Probably enough. Do I have the best of the best leading me? Hmm. Should have... Okpachtli as a general, but... I think we're good. Oh, you know what? You I'm going to disband. Okay, so here goes the army. Okay, so... This siege... Oh, damn, that's slow. And what's this about raiders? Where'd they go? Where are they? Are they these guys? Could have sworn those guys were already there. 
Also, it's definitely not those guys. They're from Sudermanland. These guys are from Vestergatland. They apparently landed in my territory and left. I don't know. I don't really care that much, really. The point is, I need to take Kent, and I need to do it quickly. Let's see. One of my informants, a young soldier, with more vices than he can afford, has managed to gain the trust of Kelpishki on a rod, and now often stands guard outside his door. I don't understand how the fellow managed it, but who am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? For enough gold? He might be persuaded to get rid of Honorad violently. I can have him killed. Yes, that would be expedient. Tiny bit of gold? And a huge thorn in my side? Well, not a huge one, actually a kind of a tiny one. Even the mightiest army can be defeated by a single man. Cut off the head and the body falls. I am Alexander, Master of Shadows! Let's see. Hmm. I shall rule from the shadows for extra intrigue, or I shall strike terror into the hearts of my foes, which turns me into an impaler. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to, uh, to kill all my enemies, but I'm going to have to go with this one, because it's, you know, less sadistic. In disguise, I meet up with my friend, Kalpishki Anurad's burly armsman and his shifty-looking associate at a run-down tavern. Shamefacedly, he recounts how they attacked Kalpishki Anurad in his bed, but how he managed to break free and get away. I pat him on the shoulder and tell him it's alright. Outside, I order my guards to tie up the loose ends. Okay, so he's not dead. Shame. But hey, I still actually got something pretty valuable out of that. Okay. Danish army. They are going to uh, Stikt, also known as Utrecht. 